absolutely everybody wants to know how to make $10,000 as fast as possible. The only problem is that there's a lot of BS out there. There's a lot of misinformation and there's a lot of people making it seem a lot easier than it really is. So in today's video, I'm going to break down the three core components to making your first $10,000 and how to continue making money from there. So the first thing that you need to make your first $10,000 is a low paying job. Now, before you go in the comments and roast me and say, but Eric, how am I going to make money with a low paying job? Hear me out. If you have a job already and you're making money, great. But if you don't, this is the first step to getting somewhere. You need to have at least some money coming in. Enough to cover any small bills that you may have and then still have a little bit of money left over. So theoretically, you're working your job. Worst case scenario, you're making minimum wage, right? You're working 15, 20 hours a week, everything is good. After you probably spend half of it in taxes and whatever, let's say you're left with $300. Now, instead of buying some sneakers or whatever with that $300, Here's what you do. You open up a Roth IRA. If you don't know what that is, it is a post-tax retirement account, which means all the money you put into it has already been taxed. So then when you withdraw the money in 30 or 40 years, it won't be taxed. It's my personal favorite when it comes to the different kinds of retirement accounts. So you open one up and you take $100 of that $300 and you put it into it. Do a little research, find some mutual funds to put the money into and then just leave it there with the expectation that it's going to make zero money right now. The next component of making your first $10,000 though is taking that $200 that you still have left and investing it into acquiring a high income skill set. A high income skill set is exactly what it sounds like. A skill set that you can charge other people a lot of money for providing. Some examples are things like copywriting, video editing, thumbnail design, coding, sales, and even more. And I wanna get this out of the way right now. This means that trading is off the table. If you're even thinking about day trading, throw that idea out right now. And this is for two reasons. Firstly, to really make money in trading, you have to have a lot of capital. Even if you have $1,000 and you make 50% profit off of it, you're only making $500. And to make 50% profit as a beginner is extremely rare and it's gonna take you a hell of a lot of time to get there to begin with. And on top of that, that's if you even make money. Most people who start out lose a crap ton of money because they don't know what they're doing, they don't understand patterns or risk reward ratios or any of it. They just throw money into random stocks and shit coins and expect to make money. So throw the idea of trading out, it's not worth it. But back to the main point, which is find your skill set. To be honest, you can even try out different skill sets. There's nothing wrong with that. But you need to find out what works for you and what skill you actually want to pursue. And once you find this out, then you do exactly that. And a lot of you guys are gonna ask, oh, what do you, what do you mean you, you pursue a skill? You take the original $200 that you had and invest it into learning this high income skill set. You take the courses, you buy the programs, the softwares, all of it. Whatever is going to make you a master in it within three to six months. Because realistically, that's all it takes. And in that three to six months, once you have a skill set that is actually worth something that is tangible, you now need the most important component to making your first serious money, which is your offer. If you don't have one already, create an Instagram page that looks semi-presentable, you know, that looks good, find leads and reach out to them. And in the words of Alex Ramosi, the offer has to be so good that they feel stupid saying no. To be honest, you may even have to do it for free because you have no experience. But start small and say, listen, I'll do one TikTok for you a week or I'll close this many people and then you can pay me. Try different offers and see what really works. And in the beginning, you're not going to get actual leads. You're not going to get results. You may have to tweak it, maybe do it for less money or find a way to provide more value. The more value you have, the more they'll want to say yes. But over time, you'll find out what works for you. And if you still aren't getting results, the biggest thing I want to tell you is just do more outreach. There's no such thing as too much outreach. And if you close one, two, three clients, you're going to turn that initial two, three, four hundred dollar investment into thousands of dollars within just a matter of months. And within no time, you will have reached that $10,000 mark. 
It's not going to be easy and it's gonna require you to sit down and do some actual work. But all I have to ask you is what is the other option? Sit around all day, play video games, be comfortable. If that's what you wanna do, by all means. But for those of you who are ready for the next step, now that you know how to make money, you now need to know how to master self-improvement, which I break down in this video right here, step-by-step. Step. So click it and I'll see you there.